my first serious video card and computer build. Uh, down and snap into place. Yeah, okay, cool. I don't think so. That's unpleasant. Okay, I'm a little concerned. My utter success and then failure. Okay, so go back a few months to November. My friend Brandon comes up with the idea to build a computer in a briefcase so that it can be stealthy. He can carry it around, take it on the train or the bus. Nobody will know what it is. Or, you know, maybe they recognize what it was if they're a super gamer kid. But anyways, we assembled the things that we needed to build the briefcase computer. A lovely hard case. Uh, I know it's not quite a briefcase, but it's pretty close. Close enough. I mean, we have to fit all these parts in it. We have a RTX 2060 by Asus. Decent cooler on it. It's real chonky. We also have uh, an itty bitty Ryzen board with a 2700X on it and we've got a small form factor, power supply, and a whole bunch of random other stuff to attach to it. Not the least of which are a full range of Noctua cooling equipment. The uh, Noctua low profile cooler and a whole bunch of two and a half centimeter high efficiency Noctua fans to slap on the edges so that it'll, you know, have enough air in there, not melt or catch on fire, presumably. Uh, we also have a nice little Kokar, yeah, I know, what, a Kokar, whatever brand, anyways, this nice little Kokar monitor, and we're going to slap that in the lid, and then, you know, you can open it up when you're land partying, uh, you can play games straight out of the box, you don't even need to bring a monitor, it's in the box. Uh, Right. So, this is the story of how it goes. Oh. The unboxing. My best, my first serious video card and computer build. Right. Let's toss these fellas. It's got an Asus logo on it. Ooh, that's a beefy card. I know, right? Ooh, that's beefy. <laughs> it looks nice, though. I know. And let's it's got a nice back plate. All of this, all of this like cooling yeah. material, all that mass is going to be extremely useful. useful. Yeah, right. It's got wow, this just like it's so beefy. I know. There's right? so much stuff under there. So this is the part that needs to be exposed on a side or the back in some way. Exposed or well, not exposed, accessible. but accessible yeah, through precisely. a <clears throat> a door. Well, yeah. I got to be leaving by what was it, seven ish. If we if we end up in a position where uh, I just there's more it. work to do, yeah. then we're not going to stop working on it till it's done. Okay. I don't anticipate it's going to take longer than than the time we've allotted, but we'll see. All right. Velcro, that's your power button, <laughs> which can be Let's mounted see, where anywhere. Where's that going? Probably somewhere like right here, because the idea is that it's down like this when it's being used at the desk. Right. And I want to be able to turn it on. Yeah, I'd be able to do it easily. There's yeah. no reset button, but you can always reset in software. This guy will just do power on, power off, which is, that's all my other computer, my Frankenstein computer over there does, is yeah, power right. on, power off. Okay. Uh, those are... Additional USB ports? Yeah, it's USB because a normal computer would come with USB ports. Yeah, right. But this one didn't, so I was like, well, you need to throw some in there. So I got those USB ports, the USB 3.0. These are all uh, cable mounting solutions. So this okay. is cable ties and, and cable clips in order to snap in. Once you decide, once we wire everything, then you can carefully position all the wires where you want and tighten them right. down. That's a fan hub, which ah, I didn't okay. think we were gonna need, yeah. but I think we actually are gonna need because these guys, I thought these came with fan hub pieces, but they don't. So this guy will control. Mounting pads. Yes, oh, so these guys here are just rubber feet. I didn't know if this case came with feet, so I ordered them in advance okay. of receiving the case. 
The beefy motherboard. And keep the liquids away. Sparing no expense. <laughs> Actually, that's not true. We all sparing only the the expenses that need be spared. Right. Let's see here. Oh. Move all these. We have all kinds of. That's the I/O panel which you would be using if you were mounting it flush to the back. Right. Uh, but we <laughs> be. the ears, the rabbit ears for the. So uh, theoretically, you could just attach those and have them sideways inside of your case. Right. Yeah. Which I think we'll do. This over here, velcro over here. Mouse. Oh yeah, this is definitely going on the inside somewhere. Yeah, and there's all kinds of random. It might go on the outside. I don't know where to put it though. I don't really have a nice flat surface to stick it to. We could always use some of the adhesive. Just plop true. it on the back and put it somewhere. I'm gonna put it on the side. <laughs> that would be funny to have the the, the uh, MSI logo in yeah. the middle, but not yeah, blatantly displayed, but not like it has the MSI on it. Somebody so. somebody sitting at the train station would be like, hmm. But it would take somebody who builds computers, I think, to yeah, notice. Yeah, really pay attention to it. Oh, I forgot. I was thinking that the other thing we could do in order to mount these fans is just drill pilot holes and put the actual screws in. Of course, then you have screws on the outside of your yeah. case. I want to avoid as much showing on the outside as possible. That's nuts. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they're magnetically levitated. I forget. It says on the inside how they're, how they're done. There's a... Uh, I remember reading up on it. What is it? You sent me some of the information. About yeah, it's how all fans are. inside. It, look, each one of these things has two foldouts. There's a foldout on this side, which yeah. explains things, and there's a foldout on the back too, <laughs> which explains things about it. The most tiny motherboard with an M.2 in the back. How pretty. So dope. How pretty. 500 gigabytes of solid state beauty. <laughs> <laughs> Two arrow. And you should just set right down in there. And then tension lever goes down and snap into place. And that is that. Wild. How does it not come out? I know, crazy, right? I don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's great. I am so confused. <laughs> How did I do this? This is sorcery. Are these eight gigs each or 16? Eight. I forget. So we're running a total of 16 gigs on this one. It is bad, boy. Yes, open that slot, can I? Oh, it's interesting, it's fixed on the other side, huh? And then he should just snap into place. Ta-da. Same with the other guy. Makes me feel really. <laughs> oh, I know. <laughs> like pushing those into place. Yeah, setting <laughs> setting RAM is. I do not want to break the board. Because you feel like it's way too much pressure. Yeah. But I've yet to damage a board putting RAM in. RAM seated. <clears throat> What's this for? The video card. Oh. -ho -ho. Except the video card isn't going to go there because we have a special mounting bracket for it to go elsewhere so that it can lay sideways. With a cable. Because otherwise it would be standing up here like this. And that right. is not going to fit. It'll be interesting to see how this guy goes on. We're going to take this. We're going to set it. On that like so. Oh, man. I don't know if I would balance that on there like that. I don't know any other way to do this right now. <laughs> I need to be head on on this. I know it's statically controlled and everything else. I still don't like treating it with caution is probably a good idea. <laughs> yeah, right. No matter how you slice it. Why don't you have a magnetic screwdriver? I do, but that one is not a magnetic tip. The, the magnetic ones are over here. <laughs> wow. I need to understand how that 
bracket works with this? Is it flexible or are we specific? Yeah, yeah. So here you can see there's a ribbon cable. Uh -huh. We can we can fold it at a 45 or move it around to a certain degree. And well, let's get it and attached gonna, to that because that's going to dictate how the rest of this goes together. And I'm pretty sure that this part of it we're going to lay flat and it use it, adhere it to the bottom. Yeah. Uh, ribbon cabled and then it's going to attach to not oh yeah 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 it'll attach to that guy but this piece is going to be attached to the bracket and then we'll mount the, the video card so first we have to attach this to the bracket you need to see the profile of this because we're running out of space it's tiny that's why we got it because it's small well, everything in here is arguably tiny Oh shit! You're not you. joking. I told you it's tiny. tiny. <laughs> <laughs> that is the power supply. All right. Okay. Nice. Yeah, so there's nice. all that. Ooh, no, it's like not. It. It's definitely not going to be able to go there. No, there's no freaking way. <laughs> <laughs> no. Nope. I mean, it, it would go this way. Then it's too long. No. Oh, you think it'll fit like that? It can go in that way. Hmm. <laughs> Decisions. Where's the screen? Because I need to see how that's going to fit in here if it allows for this. Okay. <laughs> yeah. It's hilarious. We could leave it like that. I wonder if this... There's no way. No, <laughs> it's not going to close on there. No, 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 no. <clears throat> um, The lid won't close over top of this no, guy. He is too tall. I won't clear that. That's annoying. All right, blocks off of this thingy, Majiggy, which was used to be inside the case, to hopefully hold the card up. <laughs> yep, it's perfect. There we go. <laughs> and then, so the question is, how do we make it secure? Well, we need blocks that are equivalent to those sizes. But even then, regard uh, how are we going to secure it to the system? Velcro. Velcro the block down, Velcro it to the block. We could glue the blocks to the case and Velcro the blocks to the card. Yeah, but we we need blocks. Now we need blocks that take the what, place of this. Why don't we just use that? I don't see any reason why that'll be a problem. True. And it gives it a little bit of anti-vibration and impact. It should reduce whatever noise might be generated by the fans. Yeah, we just have to glue, we'll glue them down. And then after we glue those down, we'll glue uh, Velcro to them. Then we'll Velcro the f***ing video card in. Like professionals. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like professionals. Four flexibility, three speeds, three speed settings. Flow acceleration channels, integrated anti vibration pads, sink Rick, kitchen variety, smooth <laughs> commu <laughs> commutation drive two, six year manufacturer warranty. Yeah, no, no joke. Oh, yeah, we could route cables under there. Just bring it up and boop. Yeah, plugs yeah. right in. Yeah, totally. I wonder if these will fit in that space as is. Oh, you want to make sure you don't impact the M.2 while you're doing that. M.2 is all the way down on this side. Voila. So maybe you'll tilt them like up at an angle, up this way ever so slightly. It really doesn't matter if they don't fit back there right now. <laughs> no, they don't. So they have to go. We have to let them come out the back. Yeah, they have to come out the back. Slowly. <laughs> the locations for things. Yeah, we're gonna put it so all the cables come underneath because they're gonna be able to run under the uh, the video card. Video card too. And get all that in. Then we'll get the video card in. <laughs> like butter cake like butter cake <laughs>
Sure. <laughs> So we need to go this way and down. I'm gonna get a little bit lower. It's almost like a dinosaur. Almost like a dinosaur. I don't think you got Easy finger manipulation. Looks nice. Now we just gotta cut all of those. are where they put all their design effort in. So I'd hate to lose their design effort. Are you gonna mark the USB ports precisely or? No, I'm just eyeballing it right now. And then I'll test fit everything because I know USB ports are gonna be recessed. So I'm just gonna cut out this entire space here. And then you have that gap in the middle. You could cut two two holes, one for each one of the True. USB ports. All you have to do is use the Dremel to get most of the way across and you could probably sand in the remainder of it. You won't even have to use the um, the Dremel. You can use the power drill and just 
drill holes that are exactly the, the width that you want and then sand it down. Mm -hmm. Or use the Dremel to clean out the, the edges if it's easier than using sandpaper. And you can get most of that material out just using a wider bit. Mm -hmm. Probably two drills. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. 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 <laughs> oh. Oh, that's an angry duck. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe nobody maybe. loves you. You know what? I could also do it. I don't want it to skip across. Oh, it's dragging it down and over. Yeah. You put that in the video. I'm gonna hate you forever. <laughs> Do you have more of the course? Yep. That's way too bad. I missed it. Yeah, um, you did. I missed I'm it. I'm glad you missed it because I don't want that in the video. Only things that make you look bad are going in. No, oh, thanks. <laughs> I don't know. I guess it depends on what you think would be better. I feel like the acrylic is because it's so smooth. It the the glue might not adhere as well as the 3M pad, but well, let's test. Where's the 3M? This is the 3M material. It's fantastic. I guess the question is, how well does that material stick to the foam? That is the question. Pretty well. Good. It's not like, the foam is not like, oh, let's just separate now. Wunderbar! The acrylic is so shiny. Can't we observe a brand new in his natural environment? Way more gap on the bottom. I still need to come up. I don't know. It'll do. I was say, you have all your opening, I think. Yeah. We could make these two accessible yet. Alright, test fit 9,400. <laughs> we have Koch. It's a there super Koch. Yeah. Alright, I think it's time to start sticking shit in this thing. My first time putting Velcro on a power supply. Just like thermal paste. Sh smear it everywhere. <clears throat> Put 
पर नहीं दिया है Okay, this is taking a turn, no pun intended. We are really, really heavily trusting that right now. You know what we do to forget that? He should be able to. He should extend enough to hold that guy in place. Nope. Oh, just barely not enough. Nope. Barely enough. Thank Jesus. Oh my God. Okay. So now we hold the fan in place <laughs> for the next minute. <laughs> oh my God. This is gonna be the most joke video ever. Over a thousand dollars worth of equipment, and how much was this case? Fifty bucks. Stupid task. I decided to build my computer inside of a briefcase, but it was like you'll only know when you do it. You yeah. have the idea. You're like, I'm gonna build a computer in this briefcase, and in then a briefcase, and then we found the briefcase to do it with. Then you do it, and you say, Well, now I have done it. I would say within the next three years, I'm probably gonna build another computer like this in the next three years. Well, that didn't work. <laughs> you look comfortable right now. Oh, very. I can't tell you how many joints are screaming at my brain right now. <laughs> it's kind of uncountable. The old Brandon clamp. Mm -hmm. There we go. That's... Now we're cooking the fire. That's a little better. Great, cool. Ah, I can sit back and just relax for a minute. You can relax just like the cat. Okie dokie. Well, who would I thought that putting these f***ers in would be the hard part? That's not necessarily the hard part. It's just the hardest part we've come across so far. That's true. The whole rest of the boat could get exceedingly more hard. Yeah. Yeah, smooth sailing from here. Every time you say <laughs> things like that worries me. Smooth sailing Stop. from here. <laughs> <laughs> sailing away. On smoothness. Five more cutes. Five more cutes. And the Frankenstein. Yes, for the mounting. Frankenstein mounting system. <laughs> A Franken mounting system. Yeah, sure. Yeah, who needs screws? <laughs> All right, continuing on the sketchy adhesion train. <laughs> also, no screws stick out of this thing. I don't know if I'm gonna play circus music or Benny Hill. When? Well, then this is on the screen. <laughs> <laughs> <F> God. <laughs> oh, I'm holding it the wrong way. <laughs> you sure are. That's not enough adhesive. I don't know. Yeah, yeah right. Yeah. We are in place. Okie dokie. Everything is perfectly cleared, centered on the hole. We're not making a computer here. We're making a- No. <laughs> not what's happening. We're not making an explosive device. Alrighty. Here's the part where- It's easier to push a rope. Stick something on this $350 video card. Just, just to the left of all of this stuff. Kaboom. That is how. You do that. That's where the adhesive is gonna go because we don't want it to move, go through this back plate. Should be fine on the other side. stuff I've ever stuck to a video card. <laughs> here are the risers, which will hold this bitch up in there. <sighs> Power button needs to get, where was that going again? 
I forget what I mean. The power, the, or the, that thing is by the end of the video card. Okay. But we need to look at the instructions before we do some dumb shit. There it is, right there. We already did. I it know. It was we're negative, gonna, positive. We're going to look at it again. We're not going to remember. I know what it is. I remember it. Okay, let's do a pop quiz. Let's find out if you really remember. Okay. I'll be right. Okay. Uh, first, so, which port is it? Which port is or, it? Or, I'm sorry, which pinout? JFP1. Where does the, uh, the positive and negative power LED go? So they go on the side that's closest to the audio yeah. port. Yeah. And it goes positive, negative, power switch. Positive, negative, power switch. You're right. Apology. <laughs> I won't remember tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> but for now, for you're right good. Right now, my working memory, I'm pretty sure I've got more chunks in working memory than most other people do. You know, the, those brain scans where they're like the neurologists and things talk about, I mean. Three and two, exhaust is fan one. I'm assuming we will have some kind of control. Well, it's, it's going to treat all four of these like one system fan. So as the system gets warm, then it's going to spin the fans up. Oh, okay. Uh, there will be, you can get to a fan controller inside of Windows like that. We'll let you adjust that. Individually? No, it'll treat it all as one fan. Oh, okay. So they should all spin the same. That's all the more separation we're getting right now. I think I need to pull and secure this down first before we position this. Yeah. So this has got to come out. There's a switch on that far end. I got it. Okay. Boom. Beautiful. Beautiful. Fucking insane. It's only beautiful if it works when we're done. This is true. <laughs> it's like right now, it's all just parts in a box. <laughs> That's, <laughs> That's true. All it is it, right it's now. the most complicated carry your shit home if it doesn't work. Yeah. Alrighty. All sealed up. Monitor, which still has the stuff on it. All right, Alrighty. moment of truth. Time to switch the power switch. Do we hear? Oh, and then the power button. Ha! Why is it not lit? Because it's not on. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no signal. It's got power. Power saving. Please. It'll, it'll work. It just needs to wait for the computer to be a computer. Keyboard and mouse, need those. I just wanna see a post. That's Ooh. the post. It needs the keyboard to press F1 or F2. But it turned on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. It turned on, it posted. Everything looks like it's okay. <sighs> I didn't realize how stressful this was until just now. Uh-huh. <laughs> All right. We are successfully installing Windows at this point. The little power button's there. All the fans are engaged. Install now, please. And just like that, we had done it. We had completed the briefcase computer. It was working. We still had one step left to go, which was to install the monitor on the underside of the lid. But we decided to stop recording, play some games, get stuff installed in Windows, and generally just enjoy the rest of our night. And then, just as we were about to go to sleep, we decided to try to install the monitor.
It was at precisely this moment I stopped recording and heard a snap. We looked at each other. We put the monitor in place and we tried to plug it in. Finger wet. Yeah, if you think that's good enough. It's like a fat laptop. <laughs> no, you know what? It's not turned on. You know what? No, no, it's not. It's not working. Oh, it's not plugged into the back. concerned. Oh, there's a little light back there. We will do a boot. It's doing something. Oh, that button feels nice. Oh, that's a nice button. <laughs> oh, I, f I didn't realize how solid it was. Yeah. Um. That's unpleasant. Now I get to take it home and share with Mark my utter success and then failure. <laughs> oh my god. It was working. It will work again. All we need is a monitor. Because that 15 inch. It was weak. Sugar glass monitor. <laughs> it was weak. It was a weak monitor. It deserved to die. <laughs> deserved to die. How heavy is it? It's not heavy at all. It's not that heavy? No, really. Just walk out the door like, see you later. No there he goes. What are you doing? So, we had done it. We had completely. We had done it. We had finished the briefcase. Fucking. 